everyone, welcome to Alisat Gaming Time. Today we've got some stuff to talk about, stuff from last week and also this week. Sorry for no um, episode last week. You don't need to hear my excuse. Here's the intro. Start off with Battlefront 2. So the community calendar for March has been refilled and it was refilled last week and it also refilled some new events are happening blah 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 but then it also refilled that the new update will be coming to Battlefront 2 on the 26th of March. Now also new reinforcements did got leaked but then also this week a community transmission on the new reinforcements did come out confirming that ARC Troopers and also that BB Joy thing, the one that you see from Chrome Wars those will be the two new reinforcements that will be coming to Battlefront 2 now if you're wondering if these, mo these reinforcements are just going to be available for the new game modes no, <laughs> it will be available for other modes including R. Cade. I feel like the, that one is like the most important one. Now, the new reinforcements do look good and I'm quite excited to uh, to get to play with them. And if you're wondering do we have to unlock them with credits or not, no. When they come to you, they'll be coming to you for free. And now also finally I just want to say that Dooku's third skin will be coming to the game in the March 26th update. The skin really doesn't need to be coming. It's just one of those <sighs> skins that it it just sounds stupid. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I know this was last month, but to me this news can be new news anytime. Now, Horizon Zero Dawn has sold over at least 10 million copies. Now, I know people are going to think what is the future for Horizon now? Well, the thing is that Guerrilla Games has set out hints about the next Horizon game. They haven't flat out confirmed that Horizon 2 is happening, but there are hints for it to be happening. Until then, I don't really know. Hopefully this could motivate them to basically tell the company that, oh, people do want Horizon 2. Okay, we'll make it. I, I honestly hope they do because I do remember playing Horizon Sword Dawn and I just love it. I just want more games like that out there. Okay, we've got some big ones here. Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay, so some new PlayStation avatars for Japan is available. Now, these avatars consist of, um, if I remember correctly, Roxas, Axel, and also Aqua. If there's more um, that I miss out, please let me know down below. Now, a novel has been announced for um, Kingdom Hearts 3. That novel 3, uh, volume 1, will be coming to Japan on the 28th of March. So, if somehow anyone gets hold of this or if there's a copy that ends up coming to the UK at the same time or America could someone translate it so we can actually have a look at it because if you do that you're a star now I just want to remind you that there are more secrets in the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania book now I will put a link down to uh, that down below to what's been translated to Japan to English so if you want to read upon that there you go. Now finally we've got some serious news for the Japan people once again. An update will be coming to Kingdom Hearts 3 to replace the current voice actor for Olaf as of the Japan version of the voice actor for Olaf have, has been arrested due to charges of having drugs that's all I know and what Square Enix have said that it's a last minute decision but we will be replacing him with another voice actor and due to the last minute decision we do not know too much about it 
Now, this is the only like update that they have confirmed for Japan. No other update that has to do with anything else besides this has been confirmed. But I do hope that this changes in the next coming months. Okay, so the little news stuff now. Battlefield 5 has fulfilled that the Firestorm or Battle Royale mode will be coming to the game on March 25th and the new trailer is already out right now. Lego Marvel Collection is out now and this collection includes Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Marvel Avengers which is basically based on the film and also Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now from what I know this is on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I'm not too sure about PC though. Lego Movie 2, the video game, is out now physically on Switch but they've also announced that it will receive post-launch content that will be coming to the game of to all current platforms for free starting in April. Now they haven't confirmed whether this will be something that you'll download for free in the store, I would prefer that, or an update. If I do hear anything about that though, I will sure to tell you next week. Please note that this is just me rambling along now. I'm going to be talking about Anthem, I am. Now Anthem for the last couple of days, ever since launch, has had a bunch of problems. And believe it or not, I was able to get my hands on a copy for it. Now, my internet is fast, and because of that, I rarely have any problems. I've only had problems once, and that was virtually it. I'm nearly at the end of the story mode, where I'm up to the monitor boss battle. But, anyway, I will do an anthem with you, but I will say this though. Because of it being an online... Like, you need to have Xbox Live and it needs to be online always. That's a problem because there's no real safe system for the story mode. The thing is, the story mode and the going out to the world and do all that, that should be a separate thing. Story mode should be an offline thing, wherever the other stuff should be online. Because, trust me, there's a lot of... AI like enemies and good guys already in the game. Now I know many people don't like help from I, I get that honestly. But the reason why many people I guess wouldn't like it, one, I guess because of EA, but still, look, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but sometimes like most of the games that I have that are by EA, I've, um, I've been able to com complete and I've had fun experiences with it. Battlefront 2, I still play to this day and it's still fun to me. Ba Battlefield 5, it, it's okay, but it's still fun and the story elements of it is still good to me. Um, Anthem, like, I enjoy it and look I know nearly every EA game has microtransactions but look if EA won't change then the, the developers they are trying to make sure that changes do happen like the season pass thing is now gone we've only got microtransactions and also the like deluxe Upgrades. I think there's like about three out there, one for Battlefront 2, Battlefield 5, and then also Anthem. And I bet when Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order comes out, I bet that one will have that too. But overall, I do feel like Anthem to me is a good game. And will I be playing it for long? I don't know. Even though it's a looter shooter, the current contracts that I do are not just for looting and shooting and all that. You are also attributing to the story, and there's also side quests, and that's also a story too. So, that's like, I have a lot of thoughts about it. I don't really think Anthem is a bad game. I haven't noticed any problems or anything with it, but maybe in the next few weeks, if I'm still playing it, and I notice some stuff then, that might change my opinion, 
but I rarely have problems with video games, I'm not going to lie. But overall, I think Anthem is good, but this section is not a review of it. Right, I'm going to go. Um, I know I haven't filmed uh, or even uploaded the 500 special. I'm going to try and film that tonight or tomorrow, but yeah, I'm sorry, honestly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.